Hi everybody and welcome back to part two of the Bravo project. Uh, today I'll be building the Arduino Mega Shield for our project. And uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, this module is not a main module in the in the computer. This is an um, an add-on module per se. Uh, essentially, this module uh, enables us to um, test different uh, modules of the uh, computer. Uh, when we are actually building the computer and, and maybe later it could help us in developing microcode and, and opcodes and even um, do some assembly language. So um, in general, uh, if you have done, uh, let's say the Ben Eaters uh, 6502 project, you know that um, he has been using an Arduino Mega uh, to connect to the um, uh, processor and essentially he's reading and writing um, data to the let's say address line or uh, data lines. Uh, the same concept here except that um, everything is uh, kind of pre-wired so you don't have to actually do any wiring um, we, we will be connecting the Arduino Mega through some pins to this shield and uh, this shield obviously will be connected through these um, uh, header pins to the rest of the project that, and so everything is, is kind of pre-wired and um, I have developed some uh, sketches for the project that uh, um, basically includes all the um, pins and, and, and the signals that are, that are on those pins and uh, using those sketches we could basically read and write to these pins and, and, and test the modules. Um, again, despite the fact that this is not a main uh, module in the, in the computer and actually it is not required uh, uh, for, the comp uh, for, the, for our computer to um, operate, however I guess you will probably find a lot of value um, in this module once we built it and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start with this module because uh, this module actually will be used in uh, testing uh, the rest of the modules that we'll be building during the project. Alright so with that introduction uh, let's build it and it's gonna be a short video it's actually a speed up video so uh, if you wanna watch it you could watch it and otherwise you could skip it and then uh, I'll come back after building the module I'm gonna talk about different parts of it. Alright uh, let's build it
All right, so we built our Arduino Mega Shield and uh, it's ready to go. So let's see what we have here. Uh, so um, this module, as I said, basically is for um, testing purposes. Um, and uh, we have pretty much every single signal that we have in this computer um, and somewhere connected to a pin uh, on this shield. Uh, this shield um, has some header pins at the back. As you can see, all the pins that are actually um, uh, connecting um, uh, to the Arduino Mega. Uh, and has been soldered at the back of the, um, the module. And that basically enables us to uh, connect our um, Arduino shield uh, to this module uh, this way from the back. And basically you just plug in your Arduino shield. Now that's how it's done. So uh, now uh, at the front, now we have just some uh, female header pins and that will be connecting to the rest of the computer. Essentially, every module has a header, header pin that, that is uh, going to be stacked on, on top of each other. Now, for this specific model, uh, the header pins actually is not stackable. And this is the only module in the, in the build, the whole computer, that doesn't have a stackable uh, um, female header pins. And the reason for that is um, I needed uh, to leave some space at the back so that we could actually plug in our... Uh, mega. If I had stackable uh, header pins here, meaning that uh, uh, those uh, uh, stack, uh, those basically headers had some pins sticking out of this side, then I would not be able to connect uh, my Arduino Mega uh, to the back. So, therefore, uh, this is the only module that has non-stackable uh, header pins. It's just a female header pin at the top, and uh, basically this module normally sits at the bottom of the build, and everything's kind of stack on top of it. So it made sense to, to not have actually st uh, stacking capability, at least from the backside. So other than that, um, the point is that there is really not too much that we could do about uh, um, testing this module. Um, probably we'll be testing this module in the next video when we are building the LED board. Um, this this module is pretty simple. There is no, no chip in it. I mean, essentially just have, um, you know, pins that, uh, that connects us to the uh, Arduino Mega and also has a couple of switches uh, that I'm going to talk about that shortly. Uh, we have also two resistors here uh, and, and that's it. So the, the switches that you can see here and kind of sticking out of the module, there are three, um, uh, three switches. One is uh, basically um, uh, designated as a manual clock. Uh, so during the project at some point we will be um, uh, able to actually um, manually um, uh, pulse the clock um, and basically that that is designated for that purpose uh, the other two switches one is for uh, resetting the Arduino and basically and the reason for that is when you uh, stack the Arduino um, uh, you don't have access to uh, the um, the reset button right at some point maybe we just want to reset the uh, the Arduino or rerun the, the sketch and so on. So if you look at it, uh, the main reset button is actually here. However, when you're stacking that to the, uh, uh, to the shield, uh, there will be uh, basically no, um, you're not going to have access to that button. Then that's why uh, I kind of uh, designated that button at the front so that you could um, it, you could just reset it from here. Another thing is the system uh, reset, and the system reset is uh, basically resetting the whole computer. This is actually um, part of the original build, uh, and we're going to have this uh, specific reset um, uh, switch on another module, uh, but um, I also uh, included that in this uh, shield because uh, sometimes it's just easier to reset the system from, uh, from here when you don't have uh, that specific module with reset button as part of the uh, testing process. So these are the uh, three switches. And uh, again, as I said, they're sticking out because when you're stacking the module on top of each other, uh, you, you should have uh, somehow access to those uh, switches. Another important thing here that I uh, would like to mention is that uh, if you look at um, here, I have also a little uh, pad, uh, a sticky pad or, or something like that, that I got it actually from uh, back of... Uh, a, um, a breadboard, you know, those breadboards, they have some, you know, uh, uh, I think it's a plastic uh, or, I don't know, foam type of sticky thing at the back. 
I, I cut a piece and I, I, I stuck it to here. The reason being is that when you actually connect the uh, Arduino Mega, there's a chance that you short, um, you know, the USB port uh, to this pins. So when you stack them to each other, they, they may actually make a short and uh, obviously you don't want to do that. So I kind of uh, isolated those using this uh, little uh, sticky foam, I guess any, anything that and could isolate those and prevent the short um, uh, will work. And to be honest with you, that probably this was the best way of doing it. Uh, I mean, I could design the board in a different way, like um, instead of having it um, horizontally, I could, I don't know, do it vertically. But uh, the point is that I wanted uh, the module to fit um, uh, uh, with the rest of the uh, modules. And also uh, another thing is that I really wanted to have the USB port on this side. So it's it's just uh, more natural and easier to connect the USB port uh, to the computer. Another cool thing about this module is that um, it will actually uh, provide power um, during the testing. So meaning that you don't need any uh, external power supply. Uh, the uh, 5 volt output from Arduino Mega uh, is actually um, will be used um, uh, by the by the rest of the modules in the computer, and you could power up everything through this uh, USB port. Of course, um, the output um, uh, power from the Arduino Mega is um, uh, is not that much, and uh, when you stack uh, more than four or five uh, modules, uh, it, it's not going to be able to power up the system. And by that uh, point, we have actually the main power um, uh, source for the for the computer. So we'll be using a different power source. There are different ways to power up this computer, and I'm going to talk about those later. But for now, when we are testing one or two or three modules on top of each other, we could use just um, the power that is coming from the USB port uh, from the Arduino Mega. So this system is kind of uh, self-sufficient, and you don't need uh, actually any other power supply or any other thing. With that. Um, See you later and uh, uh, part three of the project.